Hello friends, this is Sir Berms of CampCode.com So for today, I will be teaching you on how to connect a map, a Google map to a MySQL database using PH So go here with CampCodes.com uh, We have the following projects with the PHP projects So I've mentioned that it's, it is a tutorial, so if you wanted to have some projects, I have all here. Um, this free download, so you can access for this one. But our main goal for today is to create um, a map, a Google map. So here, um, please download this one in the source code in the YouTube description below. So let's try to extract the file and then here it is the map folder and we have the database connection index and the style let's CSS. So in for order for us to run this we will need to copy and go to local desk C and then click some folder and then put it in HD docs. So right click and then paste it. So afterwards, we have the following, and then we will need to have the coding itself. Um, please open now some, and then in your control panel, kindly click start, and then click also start for the MySQL. So if you already see the light green color background in Apache and MySQL you can click now admin and then admin also for the MySQL so the following code will not run the following code will not run if it is not um, using the database so we'll have first the map that is connected with the db.php so we're trying to create um, this connection so we will have a connection of this the database sql we have the location db so we have the following database name so go to the local host and then create new one and then right click paste it there so we have location db so here let's just create and then so we have the following location db database but we don't have table yet so to create the table click here sql and we will just import the following file so to run that we need to create or to copy this one you have dollar sign sql and then click and copy all this one so here let's go back and then right click and then paste it so we have to create a table which is location tab and the next data is the location latitude location longitude and the id just auto increment and then our primary key so to go with that we need to click go here okay so we already created the location tab and then the structure so um, when we try to create the following so we need to input the location latitude and the location longitude for the connection so in the connection itself we will need to add the following location latitude and the longitude so by now we will need to have some sort of this one copy the map coordinates and then paste and go so here we will just based on this example so let's go with um, let's try with my own city so let's have three go 
and then this is Riga Norte and then that's in, in Sorigo so we have here the latitude 9 let's copy paste it there so this is in the null value and the longitude so as you can see this is Surigao city okay so paste it and then the other one there it's not input in the ID because it is an auto increment next we'll try to have it in another city it is uh, far more Surigao so we'll have um, Tuan city okay so here we have now a different latitude paste it there latitude and then the longitude also to the space in the Philippines these cities are based in Philippines so click and then after that we wanted to click it go search and you go we can click with this one go and then all of the functions will be now placed inside the table so we have the following the locations already now we need to open up localhost and then go to map just put their map because this is inside in the folder which is the other one the HD docs and then enter okay so as you can see where it is now we will now try to reload the data okay so we'll try to reload the data because as we run it it's already been yes correct the data is now correct because as you can see the following this is in Surigao city and Butuan city so when we try to open up with the latitude as it is connected the location first is inserted which is 9.71 that is location in Surigao it's based in Surigao and the other one in Butuan so as you can see if you try to have the GPS location this is in Surigao and this is Butuan so the location itself in the map already started to have the starting point so the end point the end point there is the second table or the second um, info which is connected to Surigao this is your starting point and this is your end point that is why there are two only so this is based on the code so let's try to open some code in our index.php as you can see, um, this is the connection and this is the database name. So as for that, we need to try to open up with the longitude and latitude that is formed in the Google Maps. So how can we open the Google Map API? We have just forced the API with this the following K access. So you can also create this one using map that Google's that API this map API in your own in your own API K okay. so the marker is that the first marker that will be that is the starting point so the image for the starting point is based there the following images so we have the mark and then the flag that means to say this is the the background that is the map and we have mark and then flag so we try to look at it's already been there and then if we try to create some points we have the end point and the icon is the flag and then this is the end point and animation that is based on the this one okay it's based on the Google map animation so bounce as you can see that it is direct to us a, a bounce and this one that is drop so this is steady and we'll try to have the route coordinates um, we have the following and this one also 
and form submission. Uh, next is let's go try to edit some part. Okay, so let's edit this one. Uh, latitude and longitude with the following. Um, okay. Okay, let's try to edit some parts. So, if you try to have, um, let's go with India. Uh, let's try with India. Okay. Um, I think let's go with New Delhi. New Delhi, where is that? Okay, this one. Okay, let's go with for you to notice so just the difference if the latitude and longitude will be in change. Edit, just click edit and go with copy and paste the longitude this one and go. So it's already been changed and edit. So we go to edit this one. Let's go with I think it's better to have Pakistan. Uh huh. Okay. Pakistan. Oh, I don't understand their names. But let's try. Let's try. Um some of my Pakistani friends always wanted me to have an Urdu Urdu language. Okay, let's go. That's one thirty and seventy one and then go. So here we have edited the table. Let's go if it's been reloaded. Okay. Okay. So here as you can see that if you're a starting point with India so you can have uh this one zoom in and zoom out part so as you can see it is now connected with new delhi india to pakistan so here you can also integrate the map in your own if you wanted to have your business a uh, location and address and then you need to click the reload data so you can have the also the satellites if you wanted to have a satellite then a map so here that is the angel location and also you can click also some of this so we have now connected with the Google map API with a database in PHP programming language so that's all for today have a good day and stay safe thank you